Area 51 was awesome. It was home to me. I lived there for a while. We called it Area 51 because it just had so much fucking... So many little buildings and hidden little fucking buildings in it. I don't even think I knew... I don't even think I do know. There's probably more that people don't know about knowing knowing the guy who does Area 51. It was great, dude. I told you before, it was the best. I loved it the best, I think. The best place you could possibly live was very, uh, very private. <laughs> you had to take a big, giant road down to get to where you were going, and when you got there, it was great. I, I, it's where I played my drums and shit. Out, out in Area 51. They had another name for it, but I couldn't remember it, so I always called it Area 51, and it caught on. I forget what they used to call it. They had a name for it, but it wasn't good like that. It wasn't like Area 51. Because it was just so massive. And secretive and shit. What, and let go? What am I... I have to... Are you telling them to let go or me to let go? I'm never letting go of the Melagella and Jared. Hell no. Hell no. I don't care if they're in rival groups. It doesn't matter. We've done it before and we pulled it off. We're going to pull it off again. They fucking love me. Eeyore loves me. Helena fucking loves me. That's all that matters to me. Because <clears throat> they're, they're older too and you have to get the respect of the elders if you want to do anything in this world. <clears throat> There's no skin off my back. They're nice people. I just, I just, it's just the, I like the Russian shit. I'm sorry. As far as the girls go, I just like that fucking Russian shit. I mean, they're not like the American girls. They're, they're, it's a whole different bag of shells with them. And they fuck your mind up. They really fuck your shit up. That's why nobody wants me with them is because they fuck your shit up so badly. They don't even try. I can't handle it. It's too much for me. But, you know, it's my life. Why do I have to let go? I don't want to let go. I like the deer head. I like Melagel. I like to see Bob. Why would I let go of that? If, if you, if you, you, the only reason you want me to let go is because you want to sneak in there and get it, I bet. No. If you had it, you would never tell, you would never hear me telling you, let go, dude. You're like, why would I let go of this Fandango troop of pussy here, this little group of insane Russian pussy? Why the fuck would I let go? I mean, that's just not logical, is it? Are you asking me to make logical to let go, really? No. I, I still feel like they're holding on. They're using code words. They're trying to tease my dick, and I, could, and I love it. I'm never letting go. Never. I can have other bitches, but these are my premier bitches. These are the bitches I care about most. It's always that way. That deal was sealed and, and carved in stone before this whole thing began. You understand. Maybe I'll let you get a turn with Z-Bot. I'm getting the Mellow Gel in Deerhead. That shit is mine. Nice, young, popping fresh, dude. Die. That shit. Hell yeah. Why would I let go of that? Uh-uh. Never letting go of that. Die. Fucking love you. Outside my house in her underwear. I'm not letting go of that. That shit loves me. Never letting go of that. Tell Tommy to let go. I'm not letting go either, bro. That'd be fucking, like you said, that'd be fucking stupid. <laughs> yeah, it would be, be fucking stupid, wouldn't it? I'm not letting go. Why? We don't have any fights. I think we can... I don't, I don't see why Why we should. It's not, it's not an issue anymore. It's not really a problem. Oh, I can't have it? All right. I can? Okay not up to me <laughs> in the first place i just want to just like you would like any good businessman would you want to keep your fucking your, your uh you know keep your shot available you want to keep yourself open to it you don't want to just shut it off that shit can become she could become a free bitch at, at any moment and the other two they're they're not free they're they're waiting on me so i'm happy with it you got to give me something that that bangs like that something that can bang a gong like that Gotta find me a jello bitch. Can you do that? Die! <laughs> Hell yeah, you gotta find me that in Darehead. Die! Lackluster and fuck it. Yay! That's what I want. Just because you're not interested, I don't want, I don't want a Darehead. I'm so I don't want it. We'll get you another bitch from my from my uh, 
for my grab bag of hose. You don't have to have just those three. We can have others. But when I'm thinking about my dick, I'm thinking about one of those three bitches, or if not all three. And that's precisely how it should be. Can you understand? I mean, how hard is that to understand? I'm not letting go of it. Let go of your chicken McNugget SP, dude, so I can fucking put it on my menu. Uh-uh. People still eat it. They love it. They order it every day. It's nutritious. It's tasty as fuck. I'm not taking it off the menu. <laughs> uh-uh. We got three sauces you can have with it. I mean, come on. When it starts to suck, when it's like a McRib or something, and people get sick of it, then we'll pull it and we'll pull it. We'll put it back on an annually. But she's not. She's not a Shamrock Shake. She's a Vanilla Shake. It's good all year round. The Strawberry Shake, good all goddamn all year round. Big Mac, all year round, every day. Uh huh. Reasonably priced, affordable, nutritious. <laughs> good for your dick. Good for my dick. We gotta keep it on the menu. Those titties, I mean, come on, dude. Titty box, this is amazing. I'm gonna be wearing that crown soon. Just let go, you gotta let go, buddy.